we'll start with early in the week. You went to Wembley on Tuesday. How did you get on? Um, I got one game touchline ban. They're fine. Um, yeah, I mean, it was an experience. I'm going to say a good experience. You know, I shouldn't have been there. Um, you know, because of my actions. I mean, not because the FA <laughs> charged me. And and you know, I think that was a, a positive outcome. What what happened? Um, I'm grateful for the commission to you know to do what give the verdict they did. Um, and I suppose that's the, the long and the short of it. I don't want to say too much because I don't want anyone to think that I'm being anything from unhappy to smug. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and I'll serve me punishment. Okay, so going through the week, obviously we got some news yesterday, Paul Green's contract has been triggered. Is that by you or...? Yeah, yeah. He had a, he had a close in his contract and said if he played 30 games, I think it automatically renewed, but because he obviously um, did his PCL early on the season, he's never going to get to that, so we triggered that. Um, you know, and he was delighted, and we're delighted, he's delighted. I hope the fans are delighted. Um, He's, he's an important player for us. Um, he's been terrific since he's been here. I have to say, he's been terrific. He's a good guy, great pro, and a good player. And whenever we get there, we try and keep hold of him. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's knocking on a bit, but he's looked after himself really well. And he's as fit as a fiddle. He's as fit as a budget dog, isn't he? Um, he doesn't look thirty, nearly thirty-six. Um, he's. he's He's a, he's a great pro, he looks after himself and he's a credit to himself <coughs> in the profession, I have to say. I know, um, yeah, a lot of it is genetics and genes and all the rest of it, but you know, the fact that he came back from a, a crucial ligament injury in about three and a half months, he played three games on the spin, had another couple of weeks off, and then he's played virtually every game since. Um, he's a credit to him, and a, you know, a testament to how hard he works, both on and off the pitch. So looking ahead to uh, tomorrow, good week's training, everyone okay? Any injury problems? They've had, they had Tuesday, Wednesday off, so they've got an extra day off. Um, Monday was very relaxed, um, being match day plus two. So they had a good session yesterday, a tough session yesterday, and then we'll have normal sort of match prep today and ready to travel to God's own country tomorrow. This is this is the first of those games that there isn't anything on it for either side before it's been important for one way or another. Yeah. I mean, does that change your thinking? But also, as you know, Crew haven't won five league games on the spin for nearly twenty five years. Can that can that be, that be the motivation you need? I think I think three points full stop is the motivation that any player, professional player, should need. Um, but obviously, that's a, a terrific achievement if that's the case. Um, so yeah, the, all them little things do help. Was there anything riding on it four, four games ago? Well, yeah, you can still mathematically get into it, but I don't think, what was it, you're not county. Um, you know, there's definitely something riding on it for them, and we're thoroughly professional, and you're all thoroughly professional, and there wasn't. It, it was still a long shot last week, playing against Forest Green, and you saw the lads, and. You know, there's two things that I don't um, condone. He's whacking the ball and not running around. But the lads know that. If they don't run around, then I don't expect to be on the pitch. And expect, um, expect it to stay in my memory for next year.